Hello, this is Eric, and as you know, Hollywood ruins everything. So, Fantasia. Hmm. Well, let's start with the basics. In 1936, Walt Disney saw that Mickey Mouse's popularity was declining, so he wanted to have Mickey Mouse in a short, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. He wanted the animation alongside orchestra music designed just for that tale, so he hired an orchestra and began production. Unfortunately, the costs climbed way beyond the ordinary Disney shorts, but Walt saw an opportunity. In having access to the materials that he did, he could do a full concert, grouping several different pieces of music and animated segments together into a full-length feature film. This had never really been done before and was considered experimental. Walt threw himself enthusiastically into the project, and after a great amount of work, with many concepts shifted and slowly perfected, and even some new technologies invented, his expensive passion project was complete. Unfortunately, despite incredible acclaim, Fantasia didn't do very well financially. Europe had just entered World War II, sealing the foreign market there. The next film, which was Dumbo, had to be made as economically as possible. Still, Fantasia stands out as a work of art, something that heart and soul was put into. Fantasia is... um... hmm... Well, it's hard to review in a traditional manner. It's just not a traditional movie. It's many different short stories that are of different tones and purposes put in a single two-hour program. Yet, at the same time, it feels like all these shorts work together to convey something as a whole. The conductor, standing ever tall and wreathed in shadow at the beginning and end of each piece, is almost like a character. But then, if he is a character, he's only the guide. The one who introduces each segment, Deems Taylor, is also part of the story, but he's only the narrator. The main character is you, and this movie is your journey. Yeah, that sounds metaphorical, maybe a bit flowery, but there's not really any better way to describe this movie. There are many challenges and experiences to face on your way through here, and how you understand them, how they challenge you, what you learn from them, are up to you. The music is your ever-changing story as much as the animation. They fit each other perfectly and work together to paint with your emotion. Normally, when someone says to turn your brain off for a movie, I would disagree. Critical thinking is always a good thing. But here, don't think. Just listen, watch, and let yourself feel. This abstract and yet simple set of events is meant to be experienced. Whether that's with the eerily beautiful rendering of Takata and Fugue, means nothing and conveys all the meaning of the world to the stories that are more literal, like The Sorcerer's Apprentice. It shows us the, the darkest and most corrupt things in Night on Bald Mountain, the endless ravages of time in the dawn of the world, the hidden beauty of the other side of nature in the Nutcracker Suite, and the simple joys in its story of Greek mythology. Fantasia gives and gives, but it tells you so little. Only Mr. Taylor speaks, and his job is not to prepare you for the journey, but to set the stage. You must face it yourself. Madness, darkness, silliness, triumph. You step into the scene just by being the observer, and you give meaning to the tale. So much of this is in the music and execution. I could give you a scene-by-scene -scene play of every piece, but it really wouldn't be enough to explain my thoughts and my feelings. So many are tied into so many little moments and the pure sound of many, many different kinds of music, I feel like I need a degree in music theory just to explain it. I recommend watching it alone, in the dark, and with headphones if possible. I don't know what you'll find, but if you let it, you'll find something special. And, if nothing else, it has what is probably the first canonical Disney lesbian couple, if eyelashes are anything to go by. Bravo, Walt. Bravo.
So, that's Fantasia. If you've seen it, I'd like to know your thoughts, and if you haven't seen it, wait for a moment you won't be interrupted and watch it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button to receive notifications whenever we put out a new video, and have a nice day.